You want to talk real quick about what a cloud native data center is? We can do that. Um, ultimately, yes. a cloud native data center is a full stack data center where that data center is no longer bound to a physical building necessarily. Okay, and and I know you'll get more into it later. So I did. I just wanted to kind of set that level set before you go forward. Yeah, uh, it's a, it's a very good point. It's ultimately it's saying that the data center is no longer to be seen as a single provider or a single building, but the idea of that we can run our microservices applications, our cloud native applications, whether they're Kubernetes or VMs, where we need them. Um, so whether they're containers or VMs. Um, and what we're offering to achieve this is all based on a Kubernetes platform. So self-service on-demand complete Kubernetes as a service. So the idea is here again, we create that thin layer using Kubernetes, allow you to deploy a consistent, cohesive Kubernetes platform across any provider, whether it's bare metal in your data center, a private cloud or a public cloud service. We're including built-in monitoring, logging, and alerting capabilities, provide that visibility, provide that single pane of glass. Um, part of our offering, we're including deployment and onboarding to make it easy so you can get started. And really importantly, we handle the operations. We do 24 by seven proactive operations and support so that you can either just enjoy your life and focus on putting <laughs> applications down um, and not have to deal with the complexity, we also own that open source. So just to put this in perspective of, of what we are providing holistically, and this is across all of those providers that I showed earlier, and I'll show another diagram in a second. And remember, everyone, we will handle this for you, so don't let your eyes bleed. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know this is quite a complex diagram, but ultimately everything in blue, um, I think it's blue, um, is, it is blue, yes. handled by Marantis. Uh, and what's important is, is we're providing that Kubernetes layer, the virtualization and containerization layer across all of these infrastructure choices. So what are our key guarantees that we're offering as part of this? Firstly, as I mentioned, the rapid deployment. We'll deploy within 48 hours of the hardware being verified or onto the cloud platform of your choice. We will reduce the overhead for operating that infrastructure. So we'll take over the overhead um, through a combination of fully automated and integrated lifecycle management, um, combined with our OpsCare offering for, for visibility. Um, and with OpsCare Plus, we can even do that full management for you. We are providing an offering as part of the flow offering a, a kickstart to help you with that process of understanding how to onboard your migrate um, onboard your workloads or migrate those workloads so many people are running workloads on legacy systems they have a plan that they need to enact to get them into public cloud they're probably still trying to get the cloud off from them just to work for them and now they've got to deal with that complex layer of migrating applications we'll help you that and put the guidelines in place to make that happen and what's important to us as part of this offering, because we're offering the full Marantis stack, we can also offer you virtual machines in your data center and containers on the same infrastructure, offering you a complete solution right out from inside your data center out into the public cloud. How are we doing this? So the, the core of the offering is based around Marantis Container Cloud. Container Cloud allows us to cover all of these different providers. So all of these cloud providers, so we've got Azure, AWS, um, Equinix Metal, VMware, OpenStack, and then bare metal in your data center, we can orchestrate your existing bare metal infrastructure, um, allowing you to, to continue to use that infrastructure. And then we can layer that up either with OpenStack, or with Kubernetes on those bare metal. Utilizing Marantis Kubernetes Engine, Right now, we can cover a lot of different use cases. When we with K0s coming into Container Cloud shortly, we can start to also cover more of the edge use cases and more interesting use cases. Combined with Lens for the overall visibility of the entire solution, Lens is your single entry point to all of this. 
Um, Statlight provides for the logging, monitoring, and alerting. Um, also provides for the connections for the ops care solutions so that we have all of that information and we can respond appropriately and be proactive about the management. And then we've got some add-ons like Miranda Secure Registry, which allows you to create a very strong secure software um, supply chain where you can ensure that only workloads you've approved and that have been validated are running in your environment. Okay. How are we operating all of this? Sorry, Nick, you want to say something? No, no, no. I was just going to say, okay, so how are we going to do okay. this? <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Um, so how are we offering, operating all of this? We're delivering it through two choices. We've got our Ops Care and our Ops Care Plus support offerings. Both include support for scaling out your environment, the design and the deployment of the initial environment, the lifecycle management, so everything you need to keep that environment up and alive, um, patching, upgrades, all included as part of the software and the support solution. And then the operations component, we offer two, two flavors where you can operate your environment through the automated tools, but will act as your, as your first line, handling the alerts and the escalations, or we can even just operate that environment entirely for you, and all you need to do is worry about your workload. Um, it's a proactive support model. It includes the logging and monitoring. We're offering it, as I said, 24 by 7. We offer different SLA options. And there's a deployment validation agreement for your environment that we will help get everything up and running within 48 hours. For, 48 then. hours. So let's uh, let's just kind of uh, yeah. So now normally people are used to this taking how long? Weeks to months. That that's why I want to make sure we're talking about actually 48 hours. Yep. It will be up and running. And how long until the first workload is on there? So you'll be able to put that first workload within 48 hours. Our, our promise was to start working with you um, to get your first workloads on there by the end of that week. That is fast. Yeah. That is very fast. Uh, and we're able to achieve this through a combination of our software offerings. So what Container Cloud offers us being the core of Container Cloud, it goes on in little or no time. You know, As soon as that hardware is available to us and we've done the basic setup of that in environment, um, Container Cloud goes in and everything else comes from there. Everything else stems from there um, through a completely self-service uh, for the Kubernetes clusters. So once the infrastructure is in place and has been validated, all you need to do to get a Kubernetes cluster is pick your provider, click the button, and within minutes, you've got Kubernetes clusters on all those providers. And you've got that, and I'll go back to this diagram, you've got that central point, that Container Cloud, where you have a vision and a view of your entire, of visibility and a view of your entire environment, where all your resources are, how big your clusters are, and you can scale and manage them from there. And we're talking about clusters on any of these providers. Correct. So not just like pick one. No, pick any of them or all of them. Yeah. So, so you can have something on AWS and something on Equinix Metal and, you know, still keep your VMware and, and all of that. Yep. And have a consistent setup across all of them. So at the end of the day, when I have a cluster, when I build a cluster on top of Equinix Metal and consume their bare metal solution, um, and I have another cluster running on top of AWS and EC2, from an application point of view, those clusters are the same. They have the same internal mechanisms, the same workings, the same this is, you know, this is so um, all the rules are the same so that I can move my application around and just take advantage of the resources underneath them or use resources that are more proximal to where I'm trying to achieve. And so I don't need to and so I don't need to say have a, a certification in the AWS uh, API. Correct. 